Hi friends, welcome to the weekly habits project um, that we are um, going through together. We're not necessarily doing the book together, so if you don't have the book, no problems, no worries. We're just going through the scripture together. Um, and I am trying something new today. I have my Logos Bible software pulled up here so you can see what I'm actually looking at and what I'm reading from. And today's scripture uh, and habit, the habit is called choose to be renewed, choose to be renewed. And the scripture that is given for today is Psalm 51 10. And it reads this from the NASB, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. The NLT reads, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a loyal spirit within me. And then the one I choose to study from is the ESV. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, if you don't have Bible software, it's okay. Um, you can go and look up different translations like we just did here and see the fullness and the roundness of this scripture or any scripture. It's so important that we um, use different translations to see how the Bible is interpreted. And um, I particularly like the ESV to study from because it's a literal translation versus an NLT is a thought translation. Um, so I choose the ESV to study from. And so this particular word um, is different in three places. The NASB says steadfast. The New Living Translation says loyal. And the English Standard Version says right, renew a right spirit within me. And when we look down here at the Hebrew um, and the original language, this is what that is. Um, actually, it's the lemma right here. Um, and uh, what that means is to be steadfast. And to be steadfast is to be marked by firm determination or resolution to be unshakable. Right? So it's more. It's more than just being right, like good, or however we would determine right in our minds to be. It means to be unshakable. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew an unshakable spirit within me. I love that. And it's always important to um, do our best to understand the original language uh, in the context that this was written in. Um, so, speaking of context, our text for today is from Psalm 51, as you can see here. And this entire chapter, verses 1 to 19, and you can even see some of that here. I'll scroll up so you can see. So, 1 all the way to 19 is dedicated to the lament and um, the petition of David for sinning against God and taking Bathsheba as his own. Um, and then uh, Nathan came and uh, Nathan the prophet came and visited David. And here you see that David just confesses and prays for mercy as he suffers from being uh, having this disconnection with God over what he has done. And David wanted restoration and purification from God, a clean heart, as we see in the scripture, um, free from sin so that he could be reconciled to God. He pleaded with God in verse 11, as it says here, cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Please don't send me away here. In the New Living Translation, it says, do not banish me. Um, I lost my place. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. He's pleading, please do not remove uh, your Holy Spirit from me. It's kind of like what God had done with uh, King Saul previously, uh, making him an enemy of God. David did not want this. He's pleading, please don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Not only does he ask for restoration, he proceeds to tell God that he would go out and teach to other sinners 
about God's restorative forgiveness so that they too can turn to God. And you can see that in these scriptures down here. Oh, let me go back to ESV. I'm sorry. Okay. So near the end of this chapter in verses 17 in verse 17, it says here, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. A God, oh God, you will not despise. And in the New Living Translation, the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, oh God. It's so, so beautiful. Here, a broken, we see a broken and contrite heart, a sincere, remorseful heart. Contrite, if you look here, and contrite. Uh, it doesn't get, well, here you go, contrite, feeling or expressing pain or sorrow for sins or offenses, really, really remorseful in one's own heart. God will not despise that. Um, and this is because a broken and contrite heart is humbled and it gives a proper attitude toward God. And when I mean a proper attitude, I want to take you to Isaiah. Isaiah 66, 2. And it says this, All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. So, you, you may have heard the saying um, that David was a man after God's own heart. But I want to share with you, it's it's not just a saying. Um, and let's look up 1 Samuel um, 13, oops, 13, 14. Um, we have here where it says the saying that we look, right, that we've heard before, but now your kingdom shall not come. The Lord has sought out a man, sorry, after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be prince over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Okay, we could say, okay, so is is that really what, what uh, David was? Is that David who they're talking to? So let's go here to Acts 13, 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. So we see that in Acts 13, 22, that David's heart was the distinction between the physical conformity and the true spiritual change to God's will. It's, it's actually quite beautiful. I'm going to take us right back to our um, our text for today. So this week, our habit is to choose to be renewed. So my question is, where is your heart? Are you just going through the actions without the spiritual change? Um, are you missing out on that devotion to God? Christianity is more than just a group of people who follow Christ. Christianity is a group of people that have been chosen to have a broken and contrite heart for their sins, giving them a humble and proper attitude towards God. They want more than just the physical change in them. They want a spiritual renewal. That is what a Christian is. It's more than just going through the actions of going to church and loving others, which are all great things. But it's being remorseful and broken over the sins that we have done 
maybe in this very moment or during the day or the week or the month or the year or, or our lifetime. It's having that, that feeling of, I am so sorry for what I've done and asking God to come in and renew us with his love and guidance and forgiveness. And here, like I said before, like David was willing to go out and, and teach others about this restorative forgiveness that God had given him. He said, not, not only if you forgive me, I will go out and show others how you have forgiven me and how you can forgive them too. So are we doing that? Are we being that group of people that is so remorseful, but not only that teaches other people to have that humble heart that they too can be forgiven? I started our Facebook group, Reclaimed Women of God, because we often beat ourselves up um, for feeling ashamed or guilty of our past. Um, but we will claim. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Let me take you there. And it says this. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old passed away. Behold, the new has come. If you would like to join our sisters in faith, I would love for you to continue to show up to these little small studies. If you haven't, join the YouTube channel um, so that you don't miss out on all this stuff. Share this group, this Facebook group with other women so they too can know that the new has come. That through all their brokenness and their contrite hearts, they are forgiven. And that they can join us sisters in faith in, in celebration of their new heart. This week, let's open our lives to Christ to renew us spiritually. Whether it's from our past or our present, he wants to humble ourselves or we want to humble ourselves before him and know that by his grace and mercy, we can have a heart like David's, a man after God's own heart. Let him change you today. I know he can. So let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time that we have together. Lord, that you can restore us when we have this humble and contrite heart over the sins that we have had. Lord, it puts us in this attitude of being humble and setting it all before you, Lord, because we know that you can do something about it. We're just stuck as sinners without you. And we're so grateful for your forgiveness. We're so grateful for the gift that you've given, where you've died on the cross for us and for our sins, that we can have a clean heart that you have renewed a, re a re <laughs> renewed a right spirit within us that the new has come lord i ask that you please continue to pour your grace and your mercy over each one of us and help us to rise up and share with others that they too are forgiven and that you can renew them too. Thank you, Lord, so much for this opportunity to be a daughter of Christ. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings. Oh, and if you like what you see, please, again, jump over to YouTube. Um, if you're here on YouTube, press that subscribe button. And follow us on the Facebook group, Reclaimed Women of God. Let's join together and celebrate together as daughters of Christ. Thank you for your support.